What's going on fans? It's Mark from MC Shaving. We're gonna do another shave for you today using some products we got a few shaves ago. You'll remember that I picked up some shave sticks. My last shave I did with a Cremo stick. So today I wanted to try out the Derby shave stick. So this is a container I got from Shave Nation. Inside I had put the Derby shave stick. This has a nice twist up so it uh, uh, you know will always give you some exposure and then when you're all done you could just remove the bottom, rinse it out, and these containers uh, work really well. So we're going to use the Derby shave stick today. We're going to use the Q-Shave razor. This will be on setting three. I have a couple days growth and inside we're going to use a Gillette Wilkinson sword. There's three dots you'll see so this is the fourth use and these are the blades from India. The saloon pack. Uh, let's see we're going to use the synthetic brush that I received from Naked Armor in the shave kit. So this is the wood handled brush and that is soaking in the cappuccino mug and then afterwards we're going to put on some after aftershave lotion. Alright so let's wet the face and we'll get right to the shave. Hope everybody is doing well. By the time you see this video it will be midweek or so. See now if you recall when I did the Cremo shave stick, it was such a soft cream that uh, it wasn't real stiff and it was hard to apply. This shave stick is actually a lot stiffer and it's easier to apply. Now I know a lot of you out there shave with shave sticks. Some of you like them. Some of you don't, to each its own. This is my second time using a shave stick in total. I don't think I did too bad with the Cremo. I think we have uh, just wet the shave stick a little bit. Um, I don't think we have enough here to build a good lather. And then uh, have some left over on the brush. So. That's the application. You can see I have a few days growth because it's catching on the whiskers. All right. Here is our uh, brush. I'm going to leave water inside. I just shook it gently. So Now this is synthetic, but it's a very stiff synthetic brush. Very, very stiff. And when you do a face lather with shave sticks, it will get messy. until you get all the water out of the brush and the base application of lather started. So you don't look at this. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow, this lathered up no problem. Now this being a synthetic brush, I swear it was bore when I first tried it, but uh, it holds a little bit of water, but the, the knot is, it's a smaller knot. It's not a very high loft, so. And we're still breaking this in. You know, this is only like my third shave with this brush. So, the bristles still need to get some work. But I tell you, that Derby Shave Stick did pretty good. I'm just going to wet the brush a little bit. Really work that lather. Mm. I can't quite place the scent. It's not it's not a, a true barbershop scent, but it's it's very distinct. It's like if you smell it you'd be like that's derby, but I don't think I've smelled anything like this before. It's a very clean, soapy scent, I guess you could say. 
All right. That ought to do nicely. Plenty left on the brush. Let's get it onto the nostrils and away from the uh, lips. And we'll give it a quick shave. Now this is the shave stick and uh, psh, hardly looks like anything has been used. Okay. Q-Shave with a Wilkinson Sword on setting 3. I had my annual eye exam. Everything was all right. Uh, but as you get older, you know, the eyesight starts to go. So I, I do need some readers. The real fine print up close sometimes is difficult. I'm still at the, uh, at the breaking point, you know. It's, if you give it a second, it'll come into focus, but it's not right away. So I started to notice that happening probably over the last six months. I'm in my mid-40s, so it's going to happen. But it's not bad. I don't need a prescription or anything like that. Now, probably, oh geez, I have to remember. Um, I would say eight or nine years ago, eight or nine years ago. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty close. I had LASIK surgery and there's a couple different types of LASIK surgery. There's one where they kind of do a flap and they fold, fold it back, fix the eye and then fold it back over. And then there's one where they just completely reconstruct the eye. A little bit longer of a recovery period, but uh, I figured even though it was years and years and years and they've been, you know, pretty good at doing LASIK, it wasn't new to the, to the, uh, public. Man, I'm getting a lot of bristles. A lot of bristles from the brush. So, I, uh, I figured, hey, you know what? If they're fixing my eyes, then I don't need them to cut anything they don't need to. I'll just uh, go with uh, their their standard, you know, how whatever they do. All right, I'm going to rinse my face quick. So I had the LASIK surgery, and I had a I had a pretty easy recovery period. No pain, no issues. Didn't need to take any. Um, medicating drops and I didn't have to uh, you know do anything outside of the ordinary recovery type process so I was very fortunate and lucky and it wasn't that I had like a high pain threshold or anything it just didn't bother me so I was back on my feet in about a week you know the hardest part was um, sunlight bright light needed to have it dark, you know, wear shades indoors with the lights off and just keep your eyes out of the sunlight, you know. I was super dilated, <laughs> so I, I couldn't watch TV for like a day and a half, two days, I mean, it's instant. You have the, uh, the surgery, it's instant. I mean, you're, you're seeing right then and there. Need more water. It was amazing. I, lo oh, I hope I didn't get any on the camera. <laughs> I got a 
pimple on my neck. I got it with the razor. But uh, I had that surgery and I've been fine ever since. I still have 2020 vision. I have slightly better than 2020 in my left eye. My right eye is 2020, except for uh, reading, I need a little bit of help. That's all. I highly recommend it. I do it all over again. All right, good enough for a second pass. We're going to dial this down a little bit. I think for this pass, we're going to go from a three to a two. We'll go across the green. So, had to get the old readers. That's all right. Everything else look good? So, I'm happy. The daughter went. The daughter had to get classes. Well, she had classes, but she needed stronger classes, so. We're in the process of picking out the frames. Any of you who have children, my daughter is uh, 10 and a half going on 30. And uh, let me tell you, remember those days when we went to school? Oh, we can't wear this color. Oh, that doesn't go with that. Image is everything. Uh, with the clicks. You know, and the people. I remember during the 80s when I was in school, let's see, we had the rolled up jean pants. We had, um, uh, but like flash dance was big. So the hairstyles, you know, the long hair, the, hair, the, the 80s bands. <sighs> remember the Zumba pants, sports. <laughs> Tie dye was a thing back then. Uh, anyway, so we're going through that now. We got to get frames that are cool. <laughs> anyway, that's a that's an adventure on its own, man. Let me tell you. Well, the Derby stick did okay. It did good. Uh, I don't think I would have enough in my brush for a third pass, but I don't think I need it right now. My face is a little dry, so perhaps with shave sticks, or maybe with that one, a pre-shave oil or some kind of pre-shave conditioning is, is a good idea. But that's all I have left, so. Oh, family's home. Uh, so that is that. Let me just do a quick rinse here. Got lots of hair in the sink, so there was something that came off the face. All right. Uh, yeah. Got it in the nose. And yeah, my face is a little dry, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit it real quick. I'm going to put on some uh, Thayer's Cucumber Witch Hazel. Just gonna close up the pores a little bit. Mmm. If you if you like cucumber salad, cucumbers period. I mean, this really nails that scent. Oh, it's non-alcoholic. It doesn't burn. Toner is a good thing. Uh, cucumber. I love that scent. I mean, the coconut water is good. The lavender is good. The rose petals good. You can get unscented if you don't like the, uh, the, the, the any scents at all. But it, it's not like the witch hazel scent. Now if you get something like Dickinson's or like I have Humphreys. Now this has a little bit of the witch hazel scent in it. Now you could definitely tell it's a witch hazel. Now, it's not bad, but at the same time, um, some people just don't like it. Don't get it. I like it. 
after aftershave. Now they have one for sensitive skin. This is not. It's a skin conditioning. It soothes irritated skin. So this should be fine. Comes out blue. Probably more than I need. And it has a nice cologne smell. Mmm. Definitely a close shave. Yeah. That was a good shave. Well, gonna apply the rest on the forearms here because a little bit too much on the hand. Not too bad. Derby shave stick. My first time. Uh, I think that I need to apply a little bit more in the beginning of the shave. Uh, just in case I needed a touch up pass or a third pass. I mean I could probably get some water into the brush and get some lather out of it maybe for a touch up but definitely not enough for a third pass. The second pass was thinner than the first but did okay, did the trick. Uh, but I, I don't have enough to go any further than that. So this did well. It did alright. It's nothing to to write home about. It's not the best thing since sliced bread, but uh, certainly uh, going to use it in future shapes. And I want to thank you for spending the time and joining me in this video. I hope everything is going well for you, and if we don't speak by the weekend, have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you in the next shave. All right, bye guys.